This is the Ink Pray Love podcast. We talk all things health, wealth, and community connection. Let's go. Welcome to the Ink Pray Love podcast. I'm so stoked that you came back to join us. If you're on the island of Bali, come check out Lighthouse Studios where we're filming today. It is your premier content creation studio on the island. Today, we are going to talk about how to know if you're ready for change and how to actually do it. Many, many, many people ask me this. How do we actually make some changes in our life? How do we commit to them? How do we know we're ready? You know, how do we get out of the comfort zone? And I think it's really important to have a framework and a step you know, uh, a series of steps to get out of this so you'll be able to make some shit happen in your life. Now, how to know you're ready for change? Well, the first one is you're pissed. (laughs) You're just unhappy with how things are going. Rock bottom is an amazing place to start making change. It really is, especially if you're just feeling tired of the way things are going, you know, and especially if, you know, you're really feeling the negative aspects of it or the same old things are not making you happy anymore. You're tired of it. You know, uh, maybe going out and getting lit, it just doesn't do it for you anymore. It doesn't interest you anymore. And that's how you know you're ready to change and do something new. You know, I've had that where maybe a few relationships with the same type of person hasn't been working out. And now it's time to, why don't you try some change in who you're looking for? Like who, who's actually attractive to you now changes from the old type into a new type. That might actually be what you're more so suiting for the new stage of your life. So a you can definitely feel the negative effects or B you're seeing that like the, the old things aren't doing it for you anymore. They're not exciting. You. You're not feeling passionate. So if you're seeing these coming up in your life and you're just like, yeah, this job just doesn't do it for me anymore. Or I hate this job. It's like, cool. You're getting ready for change. You can see that it's coming. We want to stay in a way in a place that we're inspired. Now, maybe your job or the relationship that you're in, if it's not inspiring at the moment, the change isn't leaving it. It's finding a way to make it better. So to improve it, to get the raise, take on more um, responsibility or change what you do at your job or for the relationship, try new things in the relationship, you know, work on the relationship for yourself or personally. If it's habits, definitely, of course, change in a positive direction uh, is going to help you live a way better and more fulfilling life. Now, how to make these changes once you feel like you're ready for the change is to do a visualization meditation or just a journaling exercise. But we want to dream up the reality that we want to have. So sitting there and seeing, what could I possibly want in my life? You know, what what would be the big, great, amazing end result that this would be dope? And it could be a small mini end result, you know, just like, what do I want to change about the way that I spend my weekends? Or it could be, what do I want to change in the way I earn my money? Or the way that my entire life is, you know, spiritually, mentally, physically, health, wealth, every, just everything you want to have a different life. How do I change this? How do I get shit done in a, in a, in a way that's going to lastingly, you know, change my whole life? First, what do you want? Get clear on what you actually want. So what's the vision? And go as granular and as detailed as you possibly can. So when I wanted to make a really, really big change, of course, I had to think of like, what's that going to look like? And then do some research, get clarity on how you would actually get there. So what's next is who's already doing it? How are they doing it? And what's the difference between you and them? You know, where are they? And what are they doing in their day-to-day habits? What are they doing in their um, their education levels? You know, who who are the people that have what you want to have and study them and see if you can get around more of them in your friend zone. Like it really important to have your peers be people who are where you want to get at. So if you don't have these people in your friend circle, make those friends, go and find out where they are, where do they hang out, which coffee shops, where, like, who are these people? How do you get to them? And I like to find a low maintenance place to make friendships with people I want to be like. Like when I was in Bali, I wanted to make friends with Bali entrepreneurs so I could figure out how do they, how do they find the visa agent? You know, how do they, how do they find the, the, the place to open up the business? Like, how do they do all these things? I found them at the gym. I would just work out and see people who would be there regularly and be like, Hey, what do you do? Just make a conversation with somebody I saw regularly. And they would tell me, I'd be like, Oh, cool. They have a job that they're just passing through. Okay, cool, man. Nice to see you. 
but I made friends with an architect who builds property here. And I was like, oh shit, no way. That's so cool. Like, and I got interested in it. And then, you know, I bought him a coffee one day and we just kept seeing each other at the gym and talking about it. And then he became the architect who built Karma House. It's it's amazing to find the people in the places, put yourself in the position where they would be at, right? And make that connection and find a way to go through an experience together. So it bonds you, like go to a class together, go do something together, right? So the vision, what do you want? Clarity, who's already doing it and how are they doing it? And then get yourself in that field. So be around those people. Make the change by being around the people who have made the change and stay consistent about, you know, making sure that you're, absorbing the information in by osmosis and that's of course information is important what do you need to know that's in between you and the person that you want to be or the goal that you want and the change that you want to have what information is missing that you need in your head to be that person so does that mean reading books you know does that mean watching docs or watching you know youtube tutorials about it whatever i wanted to learn how to use chat gpt and I'm not really good at it, but I like, well, how do I do that? Like, well, who's doing that? And I just listened to a few podcasts about prompting and I got like kind of the hang of it, but I find I'm much more easily creative if I just do it myself. I'm not that good at the prompting yet, but I was like, there's a bunch of two people that are making good money using chat GPT. I'm like, how does that happen? Okay. I asked a few of them and then I listened to a couple of podcasts and I got more information around it and I could change my business habits by using it a bit more. So it's that research element, right? But finding out what you need to know and then who you need to know are vital for creating change in your life because it's who, not how. Not everything is going to be you muscling it. A lot of it's going to be being around the right people and having the right influences because we learn in a tribal society type of way is we are you know, who we hang with. So get those people in and then figure out what information you need in your life to get that shit into your brain. And then make deadlines and deliverables. So make some structure around what you want to get done by when. So this is the missing piece that's really important. That if you find out where you want to go, what you want to do, who you want around you, what you need to know, set yourself a schedule and timeline when you need to get it done by. So set yourself deadlines. Write that in your journal. What day you're going to do what thing. I'd be amazed by how many people who want to create change in their life like don't have Google Calendar. Or whatever calendar app you use. I just think Google Calendar is the best one. It's the easiest. Most people use it. You can make yourself appointments. But if you're not organized and you want to make change in your life, like, come on, man. You got to make yourself be in a position where you can succeed easily. Like, if you want to get into shape, yeah, organize it. Make sure that your gym is easy to get to. Make sure that you have a time and routine that you're going to get to it. Put that in your schedule and get your gym shoes there ready for you when you get up in the morning. Like, get that shit done. If you want to meet the woman of your dreams or the man of your dreams it's like great make yourself the best person completely possible that's going to be the most elevated version of you first and do that by looking at what you need to know who you need to know and one of the who's will be the woman of your dreams but you need to know yourself first so put that in your list i need to know me at a deeper level i need to know my my habits and tendencies and what i need to know is how to work on those to make me a better human you know how to get into great shape maybe dress a little bit better and get myself in the position where that woman hangs out where does she hang out oh she's a yogi cool i'll go hang out at yoga barn or whatever great whatever it is put yourself in that position to succeed where it's easy to succeed now it's really important in that sense is to organize yourself in every single way so that's the missing key that a lot of people mess up have a routine have a schedule and have a deadline and deliverable like timing on when you want to make this change so many people buy these courses online and they don't finish them it's like a 92 percent rate of people that are like i'm gonna finish and you know be this by then like okay you do the course but you don't do the course people get eight percent on average the way through the course and drop it that's kind of crazy it's because they didn't set a deadline you know i need to finish it by thursday and often you know going through school we do the best when we give ourselves tight deadlines so finish things as quickly as you can and laser focus on them instead of making it like a three month four month thing you have a way less way less uh chance to actually succeed in doing it now to make lasting change you got to get your reps in consistency is the last or one of the last steps right you need to be able to consistently do the same thing over and over and again and so i wanted to be a good person i wanted to you know have charity work be something that i did i wanted it to last that i was somebody who was you know not selfish and gave and i had to consistently get my reps in doing that 
every chance I could give, I would just keep giving, keep giving, keep giving. And it shifted how I thought. And that was crazy important because if I just did it a couple times, I couldn't like tick the box and be like, I'm good now. No, it was much, much more important for me to consistently go and consistently you know, say, go to the gym. You want to get in shape. It doesn't happen if you just go once. So if you want to make any change, you have to consistently get your reps in. And I highly recommend doing a lot of those reps in a short amount of time. So you build the habit and you consistently do that, right? Often, if you want to make a change, it's difficult to do it if you're stuck in the same frame that you've been in for a long time because we frame ourselves in these habit patterns. And so being in the same neighborhood with your parents at the same place that you grew up in with the same people that you had, it's a little harder to change. If you and, and it's not impossible. Lots of people do it. But if you want to get a big change, try to shake up your environment a little bit. You know, try to see if you can move to your own place or if you can, you know, rearrange your room at the very least, if you can't do that, you know, can you get a new way of doing things? Can you just wear a different color shirts? You know, can you change your, can you change? Like what can you change and control that's going to subconsciously trigger more change in your life? But if you can't move to Bali, you know, or like move somewhere, you know, move to a new town, I, I get it. It's a bit more difficult, but if you're able to, you know, move neighborhoods, to make a big change and then signify in this neighborhood, I do this thing. I'm a new person. I do these habits. I'm moving closer to the gym. I'm moving. I, there's a there's a park near my house. I'm going to walk in it every night. I'm going to listen to audiobooks and build yourself a routine for new habits. That is a great way to consistently do lasting change, right? Get new friends, get a new place to hang out, get new activities and new hobbies and change who you fundamentally are. And then you'll meet the person that you want to have in your life to change with or get them to do the similar and, and make sure that the person that you want in your life, like the partner that you want, and you're calling that in, make sure they reflect the person that you want to be, not the person that, you know, you're running away from. It's really hard to change other people. It's hard to change ourselves, let alone change other people. You can't, you can't do it. So don't be dating a project. Uh, make the biggest project of your life yourself and make the person that you're around someone that you really admire that has the qualities of somebody that you admire. We can't do it. We can't have projects in our lives. I hope this helps. I hope you find some ways in this to really use the ability to change as a benefit and a tool and working through all the aspects in your life, change in every aspect of your life and consistently move at it. I'd like to make it easy on myself to succeed. I like to put myself in courses and classes and find mentors and just have people that can teach me how to change. And I think that's super important. Like I said, being around the right people is, is so, so, so important. So often if you're missing things and you don't know how to create fundamental change or start a business or, you know, create a brand or whatever it is, it's like, cool, get around those people. And often they're not accessible within, within your friend circle. You got to find them online. Like I help so many people with online coaching and I get them making big changes in their life because they just get around me, even if it's virtually. And I'm able to coach them on how to build a brand and how to change their lives, new habits, you know, attract in new friends and new partners and build a life they can be proud of that's built into having real strong, strong habits and ways to think. And if you think differently, you talk differently. And if you talk differently and also act differently, you create new structures and systems and people and, and events and things in your life. And your life starts to rapidly change and it's never the same once you learn how to be a new person. So I highly recommend if you need some help in that, find somebody that can help you with it. And if you want to do a life that's kind of like my life, yeah, holler. I'll help you do it. So if you want to make some big, deep change in your life, hit me up or find somebody else who has built the life that you already want or has aspects of the, of the life that you want and you want to do it in your way. Thanks for coming to this episode of the Ink, Pray, Love podcast. I'm always here for you guys. Hit me up on social media. Instagram is my favorite channel to talk and communicate to anybody on. So hit me up and please share this episode for anybody who wants to make some deep change in their life. Thanks, guys. Peace. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of the Ink, Pray, Love podcast. I hope you found it inspiring, entertaining, funny, and also feeling a little bit more present and connected to yourself. Please leave a review and like and subscribe and do all those things. I'd really appreciate that. As well as if you're feeling in a giving mood, this podcast is there for the charities that I love to support. Go to www.aaronbaya.com forward slash charity and get some of those good karma points. This podcast is brought to you by Lighthouse Studios in Bali, as well as Full Reset Coaching. 
That is my coaching practice. And if you're looking for help in business, inner game impact, and building your legacy to be something you're proud of, your brand, your business, and how you walk the earth and who you impact, and also having the mindset and the heart set to be able to be happy handling it all. I'm here for you. Just DM me. Let's go. Peace out, homies. I'll see you on the next episode.